I'm scared. So you want to take the badge off or take it off first? Let me take this off first because I'm recording. Took off 12 pounds of your body. Shit, that can take the rest. 50, 60 pounds too. I don't know where you're gonna get a pound of that. You can't see anything because you got a pillow and a blanket and blankets. For a sneak peek. Your feet again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm out of surgery. Surgery went well. Crash. I don't see 
she but blue belly anymore so that's exciting um but surgery went great i'm not in the whole heap of pain nothing too crazy um also i had this other pain medicine that they put while you're under in um while you're under i i think it's on first okay, whatever but um yeah, I'm not as groggy this time. When I had my birth reduction six weeks, oh gosh, I can't talk. Six weeks ago, I was very groggy. Um, how about I stop saying? Um, but yeah, now we're on the way home, and I think I might catch me a nap. But the lady who wheeled me out, she was annoying the crap out of me. She just kept chatting. She was just annoying. Like, when you get up from anesthesia, like, you're more irritable. And she was irritating me. But when I get home, I will see my children. And I will update you guys. Yeah. Hey, good morning. So, this is the next morning. So, I guess technically post op day one um last night went really well i last night went good my sister-in-law one of my friends came over um it's just to, my sister-in-law came over to see me and hang out with me and obviously if i needed help she was gonna help me but my friend came over to help my wife with our kids um if y'all don't know we have three kids two girls and a boy ages four, three, and one. So she came to help with the kids and amazing when I tell you, it's good to have like a really good circle around you. Um, good friend, very good friend. And I don't use the term friend that often. I don't call people friends. In real, I, yeah, I don't have a lot of friends. I have, my family is my friend, so it, it's just, nice to have good people in your lives who can really come over and help you out when you really need them um she's also going to come back over thursday and she's going to shower me up or my wife can shower me up it doesn't matter um and then she's going to her and her wife's going to come over friday and spend the night because my aunt passed away two weeks ago so the funeral is this Saturday. And I was going to reschedule my surgery. But it would have been too further out. And then we have like vacations and stuff planned. So. <clears throat> yeah. Um, But as far as pain wise. I've been on top of my pain medication. Um, This morning I woke up. And not a lot of pain. Not too sore. Uh, I was going to take a Tylenol. But we don't have any. So I just did another oxy but my wife is gonna get Tylenol I think but um yeah last night was good I was able to get up from the start to go to the bathroom and just kind of do for myself um I noticed a lot of people in their vlogs said they were not able to do for themselves and I can I'm sore I'm walking slower I'm hunched over yeah, so one of my um, liposuction sites is draining a lot. It's bloody. Hey, mama. You want to say good morning to the vlog? Say good morning. Good morning. Well, hi, Ryan Sunshine. Good morning. Yes, baby. <laughs> my youngest daughter, <clears throat> Ryan. But um, this morning I woke up. Oh yeah, <laughs> off track. I got off track. But my liposuction um site is draining really bad. Yesterday, it was like soaking my pads, my puppy pads. And we called my surgeon. She just told me that it's not the drains, which is a good thing. It wasn't my drains. It was the liposuction. So, um, I just put a pad there. And it looks to be okay today, but who knows? But yeah, so 
definitely worth it so far. I don't see my food belly. I'm so happy. Like, I'm so happy. Thank you, Mama. But, um, I will get back on here when I'm actually doing something with my life. Hold it real quick. Thank you. When I'm actually getting up doing something, well, probably won't because I think I'm going to take a nap. And food-wise, I have not eaten, like, anything really. I had a little bit of soup yesterday, but every time I take medication, I just eat a thing of crackers and just a cracker, really. Because I'm not hungry. Um, drinking lots of water. Good morning. Today is post stop day two. And I'm off from my house. My wife is getting the kids ready for school. And I'm just walking around the house. My daughter wanted me to get in the car and go with them to school. It's not going to happen today. Um, I'm going to take a shower today. So I get to actually see what my body looks like. I'm kind of excited about that. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. And then I need to fix my, um, my, whatchamacallit, whatever it's called, my binder. Because it's all up my back. It's not comfortable. Let me see if I can show y'all a little bit without exposing myself. I don't have no pants on. I don't pay me stuff. Yeah, you see how all that back patch is out? It's the binder. That's pressing against there and that. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's causing me more pain. But, um, I don't know. I'm not in any pain. Well, I'm sore. I didn't take any hard medication. This morning, I'm taking, I just took Tylenol. But I'm not in a huge amount of pain. I'm scared. So, you want to take the badge off or take it off first? Let me take this off first because I'm taking none of my swelling in. Yeah, the binder. Swollen, swollen. Yeah, the binder is all. Well, I guess they all are. Yeah. It's for me laying down on it. She did a real low incision. Do you see? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I'll call you a little bit. Okay. 